It is Monday. What day is it? No one knows what. No one knows what day. No one knows what date because we are now in that weird bit between Christmas and New Year. Twilight zone. Twilight zone. Twi Twilight zone. Twi oh my God. Welcome to the Twilight zone. <laughs> also known as Crimbo Limbo. That weird bit between Christmas and New Year. So we've had a well nice Christmas. It's been super chilled. We've watched loads of telly, we've played loads of games, and it feels like we've had a real sort of reconnect as a family, I think. Yeah, this year's been hard on us as a family, we're all now. <laughs> Christmas is a good time to reconnect. Um, so, it is Monday, Luke went back to work this morning, how was getting up at half past five this morning? Sucked, I actually got up at ten to five, four fifty, because I thought, I'll have a bath, it will wake me up, and I'll get out and go. Is that what you did? Yeah. You oh, mad I, man! I know, I got the bath and it made me more tired. Oh. <laughs> So you got out of a nice warm bath and then went out into snow. Yeah, short sleeves. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, but I have got a surprise for you. What have you been asking for me to make? Eggnog! Yes! Eggnog! No, I haven't made it yet, but I've been out and I've bought all of the stuff to make eggnog. I've got... I was supposed to do the duo podcast today. Were you? Oh, God. Only me. Right, so you lovely lot of the duo podcast, you owe me uh, eggnog ingredients. So I've got some, <laughs> I've got some fresh nutmeg, like scrapey scrapey. I've got some cream. We've got some bourbon or whiskey to put in it. Got some eggs. So yeah, we're gonna get our eggnog on today. Daisy, I was so heart warmed when I said, "Are you gonna save some of that delicious smelling lunch for Luke?" And you said, "That's why I'm keeping it warm. I'm waiting for him to come home." Oh. Yeah, it's very nice. So how's Christmas been so far? Really good. It has been really good, hasn't really it? Good. Yeah, it has been nice and chilled. We've watched a whole bunch of telly. We've discovered a new program that we all love as well. It's brilliant. Always Sunny in Philadelphia. How good is that? It's so funny. Right, they're gonna have their lunch. I don't know where Tracy is. Where's mum hiding? Um, and then we're gonna get the eggnog on the go. Trace. All right, Tracy. How are you? How are you? How's your Christmas been so far? I know how it's been. It's been magical. It has been magical. Yeah. We've had a... We, had a nice rest. Yeah. Nice telly. Yeah. Loads of nice telly. And we've watched some, we watched some well good films yeah, yesterday. two great films on the bounce yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, it was unbelievable. Well, we, this is how it goes down when we want to watch a film. And we're not sure about it. We'll say, we'll give it five minutes, right? We gave Jojo Rabbit five minutes. We were in it a minute. We were... I can't remember. I'm, that's, that might have made it onto my top ten. I loved that film. I loved everything about it. Might be a perfect film. I loved it. I loved it. So, and I really didn't fancy it. I know everyone was banging on about Taikiki Wakanda and like him getting loads of Oscars for it. And I do like him because that Hunt for the Wilder People I loved, and I like that. I like his cameo in that Thor Ragnarok as well, when he's like, yeah. So I do really like that, but I really didn't fancy it, and I didn't know how it was going to work. Anyway, it started off, only got my favourite actor in it, Sam Rockwell. I was in, in, and that film, 10 out of 10. Absolute 10 out of 10. Yeah. Wasn't it perfect? Yeah, and the ending was just spot on. Yeah. And you may have heard me munching off my brother in this by recommending terrible films, like all that Cohen brother's rubbish he recommended a film called the green book yeah green book that's on amazon prime well good with it's got um oh, captain fantastic in it Mortensen, but you're not as you'd recognize him he's he put on a lot of weight for the part i think right this is how it goes down when actors get fat and old like <laughs> like my <laughs> sort of age I, I just you know i just pull this weight off for a film no you didn't mate you just like relaxed you're probably happy you got a few quid you know you got a nice wife nice kids you just think no, I'm in now. I'm just going to have some food. Anyway, that film is fantastic. And not, yeah, if you want a real feel-good film with a bit of an edge to it, The Green Book, Amazon Prime, that was well good. Anyway, I've been out and about today. I've been out and got, I've been out and got a ham. Because we ate all of our Christmas dinner. Because there's only four of us. Tracy's not. There, wasn't, there were not enough leftovers because we went smaller on the stuff we normally buy. And then there just wasn't enough for... Uh, the necessary leftovers the next day. Yeah, All, bits, also right. known as Tracy's Christmas sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> like my sandwich. Like, my there was sandwich. No there. There was no stuffing left for my sandwich. Yeah, so that that is bad. That is like yes. disappointing for Tracy. From, <laughs> but from my point of view, being you know senior squeaky on the funds, 
I thought it was brilliant. When I looked at around, everything was left. There was not much left at all. A few spuds, a few parsnips, but all the pigs in blankets had gone, all the stuffing had gone, and I was just like, ka -ching! When Tracy was like rummaging around the fridge the next day trying to make her Christmas sandwich, <laughs> she was not best pleased. So much so that I saw a turkey in my trace there. I nearly bought it, but Aww. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I thought 35 quid just for a sandwich. I didn't think. It. Anyway, we've got. We have the, it is a proper Christmas ham, though. Is it? When I say proper Christmas ham, it's got like scoring on it and fancy stuff. No, it's got none of that. It, like on the label, it's got like it's all Christmassy. Oh, some Christmas wrapping. Not even that, really. It's a bit of a sticker. <laughs> it's like someone say a regular ham, <laughs> licked a Christmas stamp on it, yeah, so whopped it on. But it's not Technically, a Christmas ham is a ham masquerading as a Christmas ham. I think it's going to be good. It's a smoked ham. So it's that's ham. going in. Nice. We are going to make some eggnog. I'm well excited about that. And um, yeah, we're going to take you with us over the next couple of days because, you know, it's all a bit weird. It's all a bit, you know, sleep clocks are all over the, all over the place. We went to bed late last night, like half 11, 12 o'clock. That's well weird. Still woke up at half five. Um, but yeah, we're going to take you with us over the next couple of days, see how it goes. However, I'm just going to insert a clip here because, you know, I'm a big fan of the near beers and, you know, I'm interested in like normal beers as well, like Luke Lies Beer and, you know, whatever. And Tracy and Daisy. Not Daisy. Sometimes Daisy. <laughs> with a meal. <laughs> in an appropriate setting. <laughs> with responsible adults. Uh-oh. Um, but we got a delivery from a firm called Beer Hawk. So um, I'm going to insert that clip now. A lot of people know that I'm a bit of a box aficionado. <laughs> An enthusiast. Enthusiast. Apologies for the pronouncing of aficionado. Pronouncing. <laughs> I've already had a beverage or two. Um, this box is large and it can fit two smaller boxes in it. But look how perfect that is. Why don't you get a little view of that? Look at that. We should start a podcast like Box Time with Luke. Yeah, the Box Boys. Yeah, right. Yeah. Let's get one out. Look at this. It, oh. <laughs> I'm going to drop something. <laughs> so they're both open. There's some in here that I recognise, but we're going to get all those out. This is the proper beers, and this is the near beers. So we're going to get them out and have a look. So, we... All right, Starzo. As soon as there's a box about, there's a cat. Right, so these are all the beers that came in the mix case of, like, regular beers. And there's some well-interesting stuff in there. I used to love Saison. Look at all those. And they've got some funny names. Nice one there for Luke. Campo. And Quack. <laughs> but that looks really, really cool. And now we're going to get the alcohol-free ones out. Right, so I've unpacked all of the near beers. And I'm really, really excited about this because I don't drink booze booze anymore. But I love beer and I miss it a bit. And the near beer stuff is really, really interesting now. Like, especially with, like, the whole craft scene and everything like that. Anyway, this is what I've got, and there's a couple in here that I was really desperate to try, and loads of stuff that I've never heard of. So, I'm well looking forward to this for Christmas. So this is what we've got. Some real sort of interesting bits. I like this brewery. I like that brewery. Some I've had before. I've had Nanny Steak before. This is the one I was really keen to try, so I love Lefe. And obviously tried that one before, I drink plenty of that. But how cool is that? Lots of really, really interesting near beers to try at Christmas. Beef. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you? So this is a, look, it is kind of Christmassy. Oh, it's gammon, not beef, sorry. Yeah. Um, so it looks, just, Luke's going for an extra roll in Magnum PI. No, this is, this is, get ready. You're gonna see there's a lot more in the vlog soon because this is the 2021 Florida holiday outfit for the parks for Luke Puller. Doing, and each time we do one less button. Really? Yeah. I like the way that you've gone for that and workout shorts. Crossfires, mate. They're not crossfires. Ah, very perceptive. You know your brand. I know what this. I know what this outfit is exactly. What? Since you're in charge of your own washing and ironing, <laughs> this is the ensemble that is coming oh, out. It looks good, though, doesn't it? It doesn't. No, the shirt. Yeah, Daisy likes it. Listen, you come home from work. We're gonna have a nice chilled afternoon because you've got a late start tomorrow. Yeah. And that's not that's not a lounging outfit. Is a lounging outfit. Actually, Daisy, you look a bit like an Avenger, like some sort of. She's clever, but she's also got superpowers. Nice. That's like me. Right. I'm just a cool cat. You're having a cheeky afternoon beer, and this is one of the ones from the Beer Hawk oh, lot. So good. I love that. I think that Beer Hawk um, box was a really, really good idea. Also, what did you get for Christmas off your sister? Daisy got my hot sauce box. It was sick. 
Yeah, man. Uh, I like hot sauce. I always get hot sauce at Christmas. I think I'll just put hot sauce in my eye, actually. Yeah, that's not what you want to do. No, not really what you want. Um, and I normally get hot sauce, and I was like, there's no hot sauce this year. Daisy's got my whole box. It's like a, I don't know what it's called. Do you know what it's called? What, the brand? Yeah. Borst Brothers. Borst Brothers? Borst Brothers. Oh. oh. The Borst Brothers. It's like a subscription box. It's like a subscription box for hot sauce. It's a wiggle in it. <laughs> You got, it? you got it? You like that hot sauce so much, you just said, I really want to get like a monthly subscription. Yeah, I might, I might subscribe to it. Because we do like a bit of hot sauce in here, so much so that you should really check out, what's it called? The Hot Wing Challenge. Hot Wings. Yeah, Hot Wing Challenge. Go Google Hot Wing Challenge. It's not called that, is it? No, it's, called, it? it's uh, Hot Ones. Hot Ones. With Sean Evans. We've been talking about this for a while now. What, our plan? Our plan. To right. rip it off. <laughs> yeah, we're going to totally rip it off. But if <laughs> Hot Ones is, so Sean Evans is like this really, really cool host and he just gets like a celebrity on and then he asks some really interesting questions in between 10 hot... 10 hot wings. Well, they eat the hot wings. <laughs> it's really spicy. Hot wings. <laughs> Carry on, sorry. <laughs> so he gets 10 hot wings. <laughs> and but, so he lines all the wings out and then they have um, sauces like from the... the these hot's are more hot. Yeah, but the least hot, I'd imagine, is still pretty spicy. And then he asks some really, 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 really good questions. Anyway, something that we, you know, we're not an original bunch here. We were going to do a Q&A for Cheers Ears for all four of us and probably get, like, a box of hot sauces ranging from hot to, like, you know, stupid. to stupid. And then, so, we get, like, ten questions from you guys and then... We do all the questions, or, or that sort of format. So if you are, or if you think that would be a good idea, you know, again, total rip off. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to do it. Luke's just in in for it because he wants more hot sauce. I just want more hot sauce. So this yes, this is a win-win for me. Yeah. Whatever happens, it is a win-win. What do you get for Christmas? What was your favourite present? A bonsai tree. Oh, you did, didn't you? Where is he? It's in my room. I set it up. Right. Okay. So what have you called your bonsai tree? Daniel Russo. Right. Which is a great name because of Cobra Kai. I thought we should call him Simon. Simon Le Bonsai. That's brilliant. It is brilliant, isn't it? It's rare that uh, it's rare that I give you props for it. Daisy's body is rejecting the joke, but I love it. Boring. It's great. Boring. Yeah, we've got loads of nice presents. I also got a Cobra Kai T-shirt from Number One Son. Yeah, man, that's a good shirt. Oh, and yeah, and Daisy got me Bobby Luke, who I love. Who? For some reason, this isn't going to be his home, but I love his like habitat. There's lots it's, of it's very Endor, isn't it? Dagobah. Well, I, I think it. Oh, I didn't realise it was the Yoda version. I'm sorry. Well, he's also got his Dagobah outfit on. <sighs> I wasn't paying attention. I've not got my glasses on. Oh, what's that? Um, that lip syncing thing. Bad lip reading. Yeah. Yeah. How? Right. Tell people where they can find that because that is brilliant. Uh, I no, just Google Star Wars bad lip reading. Do that. Yeah, and, and do that. Do that. Do it. <laughs> right, it is eggnog time. It's eggnog time. You're going to help me, aren't you? No, yeah, I'm your sous you chef. <laughs> You're excited. It's eggnog time, man. Finally, get the eggnog. How long have you wanted eggnog for? Uh, how old am I? I'm 20, 20 years old. Uh, so 20 years. Oh, oh nice. Eggnog. You came out the birth. Out the womb. I came out of the birth. With a womb, <laughs> ready for ready for food. Ready like for eggnog. eggnog, please. Yes, please. Right. So, uh, right. So we need to get four eggs, and I need the yolks and white split. We can do that. Let's do it. Right. We need four eggs cracked, and we need the yolks in one bowl and the whites in another bowl. I suggest using three bowls. One for the shell. No, one to crack them in. Yeah. And then you separate them. And the reason I say that. Is if you're doing them all in the same bowl and then you tr then you separate them afterwards. If one of them breaks, it ruins the whole lot. But I was going to separate them in the shells. Oh, okay, yeah, all right, crack on. Hey, come on in. It's not cream or milk. We need Luke's whiskey. Oh. We need 90 mils of that. He was complaining that this has gone down a bit. How's it smell? Tasty. Nice. So we've got some caster sugar. This is all done in cups, this recipe. So we've got a third of a cup of caster sugar, four egg yolks, and the whites of four eggs. We've got some nutmeg, 
Luke and I were wondering why nutmegs called nutmeg in football when they kick the ball between the legs. Don't know why. Ooh. And we got 90 mils That's of. 100, but. Is it 100? Ho hum. Ho hum's Christmas. Uh, of Luke's flash whiskey. We got some double cream and some whole milk. So, step one coming up. We've got a third of a cup of heavy cream, so double cream. Then we have got four egg whites, 100 ml of Luke's flash whiskey, a third of a cup of caster sugar, four egg yolks, and we're just gonna, what's the word, grate uh, a teaspoon of nutmeg. Ooh. Ooh. Start. You, you just got nutmeg. Egg yolks first, and then we'll get that mix in. Super. Gradually add the sugar. Gotta wait for that to change colour. Sorry. What colour thing is it going to change into? Uh, uh, purple. Nice. Right, so let's change colour, not purple. Now, gradually add the sugar. Put it this side for the sake of your footage. Oh, nice. That's really satisfying, that. <laughs> so, Daisy just, so Daisy just tried eggs and sugar mixed up and you reckon it's pretty tasty? Yeah, it's like fancy meringue. Oh nice. Yeah. Right, so that's all dissolved. Let's get going. So, get that whizzing again. We now need to add uh, 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 the milk first, please. How much? All of it. It's a pint. A pint of whole milk. all the milk in, keep it going, now we need the cream. Hello, Hello wife. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> all right, that's the cream. And next, the whiskey, cool for bourbon, but this is gonna be, you know, Now the nutmeg. I'm gonna have a sniff. Oh wow. That smells well Christmassy. Don't get your hair stuck in that. Oh wow. That smells brilliant. Right, so we've put that mixture in there. Daisy's just making sure it's not poisonous. How is it? Is it really good? It's so nice. Right, it does smell. Oh, okay. It does smell incredible. So now we're going to put the egg whites in there and whisk them up. So the egg whites are in there now, and then we're going to have to add some sugar to that as well. So we've got to add da -da -da, a tablespoon. So this is the beauty of having a mixer. You wouldn't want to do this by hand, would you? I have done it by hand before. Have you? Yeah. But it took ages. You'd be surprised. Really? Yeah. That is coming on the Oh, wow. It sounds like snow. <laughs> we've backed up a little bit because Daisy is a bit of a star baker. So we're putting the liquid in there and then we're going to add the clouds to that. Is that right? Yeah. Cool. All right, so this has been in the fridge for a while now. I've just have a sniff in there. I know, right? <laughs> it's so weird. It oh, smells so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that smells so good. Right, so we're going to build them up. We're going to supercharge them because we're going to put some whipped cream on top. Whipped cream. Whipped cream. All right there, Magnum PI. The uh, Nog Num Num Num. Num Num. Ooh. Have a sniff. I meant to say the Nog Master. Ooh. Right, and then we're going to grate some nutmeg and some chocolate on the top. Ooh. Oh, that whipped cream's good. Whipped. Mm. Cool whip. <laughs> we can Santa. This is messed up. I don't want a great Santa. We're sacrificing Santa. This is not the spirit of Christmas. <laughs> the only chocolate we've got. Oh no. Oh, it's good though, days. Right, so Luke's going in. Yeah, man. Ooh. <laughs> Daisy. Mm. 
What's your verdict, Luke? Is it what you thought? Fantastic. It's great. Oh wow. Really good. Mm. Nice. Welcome to Tuesday on Christmas Limbo. <laughs> we had to think about what day it was for a bit, didn't we? It, it is like, weird. What day is it? I feel like we're sort of getting into the swing of this, though. Yeah. We, we had to lay in, like. We did, yeah. Didn't think we got out of bed till like gone nine. No, it was nice. It was well nice. So we got up, had a cheeky coconut milk. I've not had any breakfast yet, and we watched uh, Tim Tracker their Christmas one. It was the day one. Yeah, it's brilliant. Really lovely. Little Jackson's so cute. Yeah, but someone. <laughs> Someone's funny. after my brand deal with Billabong. Yeah. <laughs> Guess who got two pairs of Crossfire? Crossfires for Christmas. <laughs> Tracker did. And all over there, I think he's got enough. I think he's just let me have the brand deal with Billabong. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we're having a nice chilled one. Luke's got a late shift at work today. Me, Traso and Daisy are heading into Salisbury to do a little bit of shopping because we want some picture frames. Yes, we finally want to get some of the Cheers in HQ pictures that we collected along the year on the way this year and people have sent to us and get that sort of started to looking a little bit more like it is our uh, area yeah i'm well excited um what else have we done i think oh over christmas we watched um soul yeah it's divide it's divided us right yeah i think it's divided a lot of people i think it's visually very well done uh it's just the plot is a little bit odd and it ended like I wanted more I wanted to find out what happened next a little bit more at the end so I think it was good and I'm glad I've watched it and it is worth watching but I don't think it's one of their best it wasn't my favorite yeah yeah I didn't but I'll tell you what I don't really I'm not a big fan of inside out either yeah it's, it's very similar it's got a very similar style and vibe to inside out yeah I don't like Daisy told me what this means like I don't like the colour palette of that. I didn't like Happy Feet because it was all like white and blank. I like Moana, I like Toy Story, I like bright colours and I I don't know, I just think with the, I don't like that, the bit when they were talking with all the souls and stuff and I thought it was just... But the colours the colours in the other bits were good when, when they're in the... Yeah, the, that's a fair point. World. Yeah, and at one point I did say like, oh, I really like the way that they've done the lighting. It was sort of oh. early evening and stuff. And that, you knew it was early evening just from the lighting. Yeah, it did, it did yeah. look really good, but I've seen on, should we stand together? Shall we? It's a um, all stand together. And I think on some of the videos that we've seen, I think Tim Tracker in the parks, they brought out merch for it. So like toys of the figures. I'm not sure that's like super no, um, we aimed at children. The, the, the plot itself is a little bit, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a lovely idea, a lovely concept, but it's, it's probably a bit hard for children to get their heads around, I would think. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would find the toys, we may be wrong, children may love it for very different reasons that, than we can see. Probably. Yeah, but, I thought it was all right. Yeah. Anyway, um, I think we're going to head into Salisbury in a bit. We're going to have a bit of food. I've been out for a run this morning. It is beautiful out there. It's been well windy here, so the courtyard is in a right old state, so I'm going to get the bins out there over the next few days and have a bit of a clear up but yes we will see you in a bit right we have been out to salisbury it is dirty out there isn't it it's cold it's dirty not nice not nice no. pops into waitrose got some ice cream pistachio ice cream they got they got ice cream in there it's seven pound a pot it does look well good i think it's actually gelato oh that looks mm. so nice Maybe when it's on offer <laughs> What is the difference between ice cream and gelato? Not a joke. What is the difference between <laughs> ice... One's Italian. Is that it? So I don't know. It's probably the same. No, I think there's something in it, but... I don't know. Yeah, Who knows? Anyway, we went to Waitrose, which was nice. Got some bits and pieces. Got some cherries as well. Got some more nibbies and dinner for tonight. We've got sausages tonight. We got some picture frames put up. We finally got... A big clock for the kitchen. That is a big clock. <laughs> it is a big clock, but it's a big, big wall to fill. Yes. So I don't know if you guys seriously saying that. I'm so sorry. Big clock. That is a great big clock. <laughs> big clock. Be careful how you say that. And Daisy got some new sports gear. I oh, the, the girls started doing some sports yesterday, didn't you? Right, yes. Yeah, so we've started the Chloe Tin two weeks shred. <laughs> Uh, yeah, very, very difficult. Oh. We can't move today. <laughs> so very we're giving, cool. giving it a day off today, but we are coming back to it. It was good. But I feel good for doing it, and I think we will get better yeah, on it. It will be good. It will be good. But we'd like mentally psyched ourselves up for two videos. And I went, I like went to go and find what the cooldown was to find out we'd 
have another like have another video to go. Ouch. Yeah, and then we were just like, I can't do it. I, 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 I was in the med I, I tried to exercise. I was in the mindset for two videos, and then I had a third one, and we were like, nope, no. It did look pretty tough. It's pretty hard. A lot of jumping. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of planks as well. And what I liked the most, down. like about an hour or two after, the stage was like, you and Lou wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> you, would, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. I know you guys. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I know you guys. You won't be able to do it. You'd have great form. Yeah. But you get tired. I drank too much water and then I was like, I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like every time I did something, I just feel like water like sloshing about inside. That is a bad feeling. It's horrible. Right, so we are gonna get some of the pictures in their frames, get them up in Cheers's HQ, and then I think we've got an easy dinner tonight, and then I think I might try and watch that. We should not watch it yet. I think many vlogs ago we said we were gonna watch it and we never got around to it. Yeah. Oh, and this is one of the pitch. Well, don't do that because I'll. Anyway, it's, film, the film it's a two person job. <laughs> anyway, the film that we're thinking of watching is It's a Beautiful Day in the Neighbourhood. Yeah. With Tom Hanks, but we've not watched it yet. Yeah. So. Right, we have had some success. Big old clock's up. There we go. Nice and central. And in the middle, I have put some of the pictures in the frames, only three. And we lost a bit of the afternoon, really, because. Tracy and I have been like super chill. We don't really get to watch, you know, sit down and not be at the beck and call of the bell so much, but we watched, where's Trace? What was that thing we watched on there? Oh, hold on. What's going on over here, nerd corner? <laughs> I've been reading and nowadays he's doing some coursework and I'm still reading. Doing your coursework? Yes. Christmas holidays? I'm not actually doing it. Long distance high five. <laughs> uh, what, you're not doing it, are you? No. What are you doing? I'm not looking at shoes. Uh oh. Mum's got loads of them you can have. Uh, I'm not pregnant. Ooh. Oh, Cobra Kai is coming on New Year's Day. Yeah, New Year's Day. Well excited for that. Tracy is reading Michelle Obama. Have we, just, have we covered this? I don't know, but it's pretty good. You're loving it, aren't you? I'm loving it, yeah. And what did we just watch on Netflix? The, something with the, the tribe of Chica Chica Chicago. Chicago. Chicago 7. Chicago. No, it's broken. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jakarta, no, she walked. <laughs> oh, what was the other one? Oh, Jamaica, no, she didn't. No, she wanted a gun. <laughs> Felt them, brushed past them. <laughs> um, yeah, we watched the trial of... The Chicago 7. The Chicago 7, which was well good. That was well sketchy times there. That judge was well out of order. But if you've got Netflix, that is well worth a look. We've got Christmas lights going on. We've got a whole load of recycling that needs doing, but that'll happen. We got sausages in the pan. They've been splashing all over the grill, but this is dinner tonight. Bit of broccoli, bit of cheeky old gravy, bisto, but who cares? And number one son is on his way home, so we're gonna have dinner and call it. And I, oh, I think we still not watch that Tom Hanks film, but we will get around to that. Maybe tonight, maybe not. We are deep into it's always sunny in Philadelphia, so Luke might want to watch that. He might not want to get dragged too much into a film. Mouldy old lemon in the fruit bowl. Better been that, Kivo. So we'll see you lovely lot tomorrow. Morning. It has just gone 11 o'clock and it is Wednesday. Probably we are still deep within that crimbo limbo and not hating it. I am feeling super chilled out and just feeling like we are getting super well rested. Tracer and I had another super nice, nice long lay in this morning. And yeah, just getting the house a bit straight. Uh, Tracy's headed off into town to make herself look super glam. She's having her hair done, cut and coloured and all that. And I'm going to get the house a little bit straight. Luke is on a late shift today. So I think he starts at around one o'clock and finishes quite late. So I think we're going to have a bit of a doing day today. I'm going to get the house straight. I'm going to get the kitchen straight. I am going to get some washing done for the main business. I'm going to get some of our own washing done. I'm going to get some ironing done. And I'm going to watch exactly what I want to watch on telly. It's a bit overcast today. But there we go. And so yeah, I think tomorrow's New Year's Eve. I'm really enjoying this little break to be honest. I'm having a lovely time. Had a bit of Tim Tracker on the telly this morning. All the Disney feels. So yeah, let's we'll see how today pans out. It is quarter to four and it is well cold and miserable out there. And we've just moved into, what tier are we in now? We've got tier two and now tier three. Oh, you know what we haven't been doing? Tears ears. 
Oh, well, cheers, tears. All works, doesn't it? Yeah. Tracy's come back from a 10 hour haircut. How was that? <laughs> Sounds pretty tough. <laughs> Why does it take so long for girls to have their yeah. haircut? Huh? Get it coloured as well. You were there like six hours? More than six hours. How long were you there? It's half 11 and I left there at 3. Still a long time. Anyway, I've had a good old day ironing. I've been left alone. A couple of work calls, which was all right. Some of our regulars booking in for next year. Oi, new clock. That clock looks good. Oh, well, look, it's me uh, holding a clock. Why can't I do that? I'm gonna, well, it doesn't work. Um, and I've been watching Jamie Oliver, which has now inspired me. You're lucky you're just getting a roast chicken dinner tonight. I was going to do another full on Christmas dinner. I love Jamie Oliver. And we didn't watch his Christmas thing, like the run up or the cooking up. No. Oh, we no. Didn't do. And now I've watched it all, and now I'm starving. So I'm, go I'm going into Tesco's, I'm going to find, oh, we're having roast chicken dinner, homemade gravy, Brussels sprouts, all the other bits and pieces as well. And, oh, and the other best thing about this time of year, guess what was on the, guess what, well, you know what started on telly yesterday, didn't you? I caught up with that. What do I love at this time of year? Oh, the world's strongest man. World's strongest man, when I'm sat there doing my iron thinking, you know what, with a few changes to my training and a bit of a diet tweak, I could be a contender. Right, so I'm heading out to Tesco's. We were, because it's New Year's Eve tomorrow, we were going to be having a takeaway. But, I think because all the restaurants are shut around here and only the takeaways are open, I think I might swerve that. I think, I think we might have a massive picky tea for tomorrow and then roll over the takeaway to a few nights later have an easy dinner one evening before we go back to work so i am going to go to tesco's now i'm going to head out is it what's it like outside is it cold no it's a bit damp this summer this winter has stitched me right up i bought a really really warm coat and it's hardly been cold i'm gutted this spring better be cold this next bit better be cold right i'm going to tesco's the oven is preheating we've got a super fancy chicken we didn't have a lot in Tesco. I think everyone's panic buying for New Year's Eve. I don't know, or whatever. And guess what I've forgotten? What? For my gravy. So I've got a nice bed on there. I've forgotten the most important bit. Celery. Celery. All those people out there that are wasting celery, building snowmen, and you know who you are. Um, no celery for my gravy. I've never done it without celery. It's going to be terrible. I can feel it. Anyway, I'm only going to make a cheeky like midweek one. So onions, carrots, garlic, thyme. My thyme is loving life. Thanks for all the memes that you guys sent me with uh, I'm having the time of my life. That was very funny. Well done. Um, so I'm going to stick the chook in there, salt and pepper. I'm going to cook it upside down. I've been doing that a bit lately. Getting some incredible results. So yes, yeah, so I think it's just... You know, it's cooking, all the juices are going down in the breast bit. So, yeah. Ouch. So, we're going to get him in and, yeah, you know, a bit of cooking. Right, it's coming up for 8 o'clock and dinner is done. Luke should be on his way home soon. Chicken's looking lovely and we've had this kicking about. This is a corn roast. I've never, ever tried one of these. And then we've got some spuds, got some stuffing, and some bits and pieces. Oh, we've got sausages as well. So they look, these are those, um, the pork, the hog boys ones. They're really, really good. I'm just going to try that corn roast. It smells pretty savoury. It smells pretty good. Luke won't know that's not chicken. Yeah. <laughs> That's really, really good. We're getting training for tomorrow night. <laughs> As you overheard from Tracy, it is a quarter to midnight. We are getting in training for tomorrow night. All right, worky Luke. Ah, How are we? I'm tired. You got two days off? Got two days off. Wow. And we got Mario Kart for the, what's this machine called? The Switch. Switch. The Swintendo niche. Yes. How, it's nice to have Mario Kart back on Big Telly. Yeah, it feels right. Yeah. Nice evening, nice food, but yeah, we're going to have to start getting back into a routine for next week. Not a couple of days yet, tomorrow and New Year's Day, and then after that we'll get back on it. Yes, and when this goes up, so next week, it will all... Oh. It'll be New Year. Yeah, so Happy New Year! 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 
that he's in the bathroom can't hear us anyway thanks so much for joining us not sure how this one's going to come out because we've just done bits and pieces throughout the week um but yeah feels like we've all survived christmas limbo together and yeah here's to an absolutely stonking belting 2021 let's all get on planes let's all you know go and hug the people that we need to hug we did it we got this year done and dusted 2021 is going to be a blinder we are coming out of this curve like super fast it's all going to be back to normal as soon you know before we can before it goes like that it is going to be brilliant thank you so so much oh blimey steady keith for following us this year all of your support all of your comments all of your lovely interactions it really 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 means the world to us so here's to a very happy healthy brilliant new year lots and lots and lots of love from all of us cheers is.